blue. Today we are making something that I'm not entirely sure if it exists in like England and America. I mean, I bet it does, but I've never actually really seen anything like it over there. This is actually, as far as I know, as far as I'm concerned, a Danish invention. At least in Denmark it's really really popular and the really popular kind was Danish too. And I'm not really sure if it comes from Denmark. I just remember this old Christmas calendar where they... Well, they go back in time, this elf does, just to figure out Christmas and stuff like that. And he actually meets the inventor of, of this. And I'm not sure what to call them since, again, I'm not sure if they exist in, in England. I should have probably looked that up before I recorded this, but alas, I am too stupid sometimes. <laughs> but it's okay, who cares? I mean, you might care, but I mean, if I find out it's called something, it will be in the title. Otherwise, I'll just call it something myself. Basically, this is the thick kind of paper and you draw... Well, normally it's Christmas elves, but as you can see, my, my sister is currently making cats, Christmas cats. So basically anything Christmas related, and then you have this extra bit hanging out either at the bottom or the top and then you put them so they go out from drawers or you know anything closets whatever anything they can sit on you can see we put them on a on a oh my gosh i cannot remember the name i can never remember any names it's no good we put it on a a, a trunk not what it's called, is it? Ugh, I'm sorry. Have you ever heard of these before? Like, where are you from and have you heard of them? I would love to know. So yeah, that's what it's like. Here I am making a, a little teddy bear inspired by my sister's cats because I thought they were so adorable. Like, she's really good at this whole layering things. And she may not be the best at drawing people, but she's really good at drawing animals. At least in my opinion, you know, when they have to be super cute. I was about to say super kawaii, but maybe that's a little bit too much anime style for you guys. <laughs> anyway, I switched over to white paper since I think it's easier to just... Yeah, I'm not good at the whole layering thing, so I prefer to draw it on and then color it in like this and I'm making one that's like hanging from from the thing but it it's not like really proportionate because I sort of underestimated how long the paper was so yep nope but I mean it turns out okay in the end I make three my sister makes two and as you can see or as you may see soon she actually sort of got inspired by me as well um, by the whole thing I did <laughs> with the hanging thing or maybe she didn't maybe it was just her idea it's fairly common to have them hanging and you know being sort of naughty and just well naughty as in you know sticking their tongue out and, and stuff like that it's really fun little creatures just hanging all over the place um, but yeah sometimes they're hanging like as in they're about to fall down for some, from something. And I think, I mean, I think they're fun. I've always known them because it's just part of the culture here, I guess. So... I think I am... I was... A do -do 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 -do. <laughs> I'm sorry. What is going on with me? No. Here they are, at least some of them. As you can see, I helped my sister draw on the face of this man. I just asked her what she wanted him to look like and that's it. And this is what they look like when they're sort of hanging and stuff. I really, really think they're super cute. And I mean, I hope you would like to try something like this. It's so easy, it's so good. Bye!